Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin uh, in a moment. And according to Bertle, it seems it will be a short meeting tonight. But I'm somewhat doubtful of that, because people usually turn up very <laughs> late <laughs> into the meeting. But we will see. Let's wait for the signal. <laughs> In any case, welcome to the 157th meeting ever in Poet Appreciation Society. As usual, I will start out by reciting a poem, and then people on their sign up list will have their turn. <coughs> turns. Turns, 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 turns. <laughs> and as usual, I have prepared a small firework display to conclude the meeting. Right, right, right. As usual, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I I'm surprised it's not a tradition but yet. And I feel exhausted while recording. <laughs> I'm starting start out by reciting a poem that Orion Chris sent to me. Usually, his poems are very long. But this one is rather short. Just like gnomes. Roses are red, violets are red, everything is red. I think there could be a problem. Why? Can I smell toast? I'm under the sea. Huh. <laughs> That's a really a short one. <laughs> Just... Oh, tears! Oh! Oh! Okay! Yeah! <laughs> and our first guest on this improvised stage is Dash. Dash. Yeah. That's right. Did I clap? Did I clap? Did I clap? Uh, no, well, I have missed it. Right, right. That's enough of that. I ain't started yet. Moore's finest at your service. I'm gonna enjoy what happens next. So, uh, I ran into the poem gnome the other week and tonight we saw him. Uh, the spoon was saved. Strongment. Didn't manage, but he told me it was a great story. And that I should come here and tell it to tell it. But poem gnome, I says, I can't rhyme, says to save my life. And here, and he were like, that's fine. It doesn't have to rhyme, so here it is, and you go got him to blame. <laughs> <laughs> this is the spoon what saves Stormwind. Once upon a proper time, right? Prince Anduin was hanging out in, uh, in a park with his little pony. He had his he had this here spoon in his pocket because he uh, had been raised with it and it were just the right size for his porridge. He really liked his, this spoon. Then he heard this deep rumble 
getting louder. The ground were trembling. <laughs> the sky went dark. The unmistakable sounds of a danger. He galloped away from the park as quickly as his little pony could manage. Boom! Crash! Crack! Crash! The park practically exploded behind him and from the smoke rose up that wing, ready to destroy the mage quarter next. So Prince Anduin held a lot. The spoon. The sign like being the burned. Blinding death wing. <laughs> ah fuck. <laughs> Cried out death wing. I can't be pissing here. <laughs> oh wait, I can't piss and see. Whoever came up with that story is so fucking genius. Take notes, paper man. True story, this. <laughs> of course, of course. He kinda half crashed on the entrance towers, shook his, uh, shook his ugly head and flew off embarrassed. And that's how this very sp spoon saved Stormwind. Could be years for the silver. Taking bits. Come see me after. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's a good story. I liked it. Do not try and bend the spoon. That's impossible. Instead, only try to realize the truth. What truth? There is no spoon. There is no spoon? The next poem is Return to the Center. Um, sent to battle by someone who signed themselves Kufu Wutsu. We wasted every word with unspeakable precision. Until nothing could be separated from the world. The wound on your hand grows into your soul. Gates burst open to rooms with plate wallpaper, a red mass of light, whispers, adhesive filaments. From fatherless infants, tongues, a lie is bleeding into itself. Everything returns to sender. Everything returns to sender. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. What a magnificent poem. Balanced as all things should be. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Oh my fucking god, that's genius! And it's, it is time uh, for a poem from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. <laughs> Adventures. Let's see what JoJo and his pose brought to us. Actually, her pose. Her pose, my bad, my bad. It's a new button. Oh, it's an open exchange, okay. I like that. Mm, 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 mm. So, uh, hello everyone. Before I share my poem, I want to say that it is about Lakeshen. His story inspired me, so yeah, I, it will be about him. And also, I'm very new to the whole thing, so wish me luck. Break a leg, I believe is, is what it said, says... Huh. You 
believed you were the righteous ruler of these lands. The Tundra King, with the power you usurped. You loved us now with a cold embrace. Your thunder echo through time and space. A little boy turned Emperor Grand, building a kingdom with, with an iron command. But even kings, with all their might, must face the end when days turn to night. Power within power, we consumed it all. But even the mightiest rules fall. Your story now in ancient pages lies. Every storm fades into the night. That's a pretty good one. I like it. We have another poem from the Pandaren. Flopping, flipping, dreaming, falling, climbing, flipping, flopping, feeling, falling, failing, pumbling, mumbling, mingle, mangled, clutter, clutter, muddle, jumble, shambles, shambles, <laughs> hodge, puff, hot, hodge, potato, tomato, little stew. Omnium Gatherum, Demon Diamond, Seaman Simon, Oats and Ants, A Pile of Bones, Clouds and Mist Emerging from a Cave, Simple Things and Anchors away. One Moon, One Careless Finger Pointing. The mystery is calling. No moon, no finger. Nothing there at all. Uh -uh, no. Dreams leave us at dawn. <laughs> Good one. That's great! Time to fulfill Jack's wildest, baddest dream. Which are a song again. <laughs> this is something I've been working on. With the help of my mu music teacher, Xavier. It's not. It is not got a proper title yet, but um, maybe Jack's and Place. I hope you guys like it. I have known throughout the storm and the booty bay, and 
since I'm old, I have often been told to take risks and not worry myself to death. No opportunity can match with my right hand, and I will cook for folks to fill my dying breath. I will not satisfy your dream of ruining another song because I have no idea where that started but I, it feels like a Disney song I really have a feeling it was something from Disney when I researched that You smart You very smart We the best You a genius And the legend The monster The poetic Dastardly teeth and wizard has returned once more. It's Eugene Ross. Good evening, fellow appreciators of all things poetic. I am Eugene Ross of the Midnight Theatre, and here is something I've only just written not than half an hour ago. Thus, my apologies for the dubious quality of it, and not in advance. Very well, I shall give it my best. Do not butcher it as badly. <laughs> if it is too bad, then by all means blame Madame Hatir. For it is her who insisted I participate. Participate. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> No titles as of yet. Upon the great seas rolling babes, between the sailors and the knaves, among the daring and the shunned, shunned, storm driven, or lightning struck. And stunned, and I crippled by the sea malaise, under the maddened captain's gaze, as she hurls curses at her crew. My shattered thoughts are but with you. A wide-winged seabird in the sky. Take me to her, for whom. I can't but long, but long. To whom I never said goodbye. To storm it, storm it. But I must, most belong. Within the mist of burning leaves. Sharing a puff with rich and thieves. I swear, a man can raise a thirst. With Carter's finest. And the worst. Yet, even when she looks my way, one in the goblin's cabaret, from under the lengths of lashes, this you before my eyes who flashes, oh winks from wretched, don't you cry, forgive. There is only one from whom I long, to whom I never said goodbye, to her, to storm it, does my heart belong. The hell beckons deeper into the, in the woods, long ears, at which, under the hoods, silent is the ash of an ashen whale hut, hunt. 
if prey is not a heart but a grunt. Yet, even magical attune, strowned by a priestess of the moon, cannot but make me want to nap as my head rests upon her lap. Oh, willow wisps, some bold, some shy, I pray you. Spirit me away for long, to whom I never said goodbye. To her, to storm it, where I most belong. Proud Take me to her, at your for whom I can't but long. To her, to storm it, does my heart belong. Nicely written, liked it. <laughs> An excellent poetric masterpiece once more from Eugene. From one legend to another, we have a return of the most dastardly dreadlords out there. It's Tarquin, or also known as Tarquinis. <laughs> I will sh perform a short poem that made me happy as known in the whole Azeroth. This is for you, Rosie. I am guessing I already know with what Targonis is going to play on us this time. We already likely had this once before. Dream girl. I stand in a soft warm spring rain and I'm waiting for you. When you come to me, we will walk together under these blooming trees. I behold you from hand, and you will gently stroke my hand with your soft tongue. When you come to me, we will have a peaceful rest by a little light. Just under the, that old tree, I will lie next to you as you sit. Your back against the tree, against the tree, my head resting in your lap. When you come to me, you will sit next to me and sing, with your soft voice slowly luring me into sleep. I stand in soft warm spring rain, and I am waiting for you, my dream girl. I think I heard this one yet. It's a good one. My dream girl has arrived. I am not sure if that's, that is an ending yet. Because there was no bow. So I'm gonna wait patiently. We are getting married next month. I'm guessing that that was an ending with the kiss. So who knows? <laughs> Ten jumping jacks on the spot. Imagine at the same time that the, that the globe follows your movements, so that your feet at no time counteracts the gravitational field. Remember that you are a small blue glazed hole, hollow ball of clay, meandering in the ocean's waves. Close your eyes and then run to the nearest fight master while maintaining this image in your mind's eyes. Jump on the first island <laughs> and continue your journey into the night. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Clearly, clearly, clearly. 
Pew, Pew Pew is high on something. Something that he shouldn't be high on. Very likely some uh, new Coca Cola or what it is called in the world of Warcraft. <laughs> but it's a good one, so excellent work. Thank you everyone for your quiet, uh, uh, contribution tonight. And I hope you have a lovely August. I am not sure if I will be able to manage the effort this week, but uh, next week, but we will see. Until then, we will see each other guaranteed the next month in Dalaran.